What's up, Renegades? I'm Victor Ortiz. You've heard of Roll and Write and Flip and Fill games, but did you know there's a Roll and Cut game? Let me show you Clip Cut Parks by Sean Graham and Scott Huntington, illustrated by Cold Castle Studios. This game puts one to four landscape architects in a competition to finish five park cards first. This is an interactive demo where you'll play around to fill out a park card with me. Play along by clicking the link below to print out a park card. Then get some scissors and you're all set. If you don't have your sheet just yet, just pause and print it out. Go on, I'll wait. Got it? Fantastic. There's five phases to every turn, which I'll explain as we play. We'll be trying to build your own park card. We won't be playing a full game, but you'll be racing me to finish your park card first so you can learn the mechanics. In a normal game, you'd have two park cards in front of you and you'll be racing to finish five park cards, but we're keeping it simple for this demo. Remember the five phases I mentioned earlier? Well, we need a park card first before I can explain. Now this is my park card, Darwin Meadows. As you can see, there are many features on the card. Let me explain what they mean. What the yellow one means is it's a play area. What the green one means, you guessed it, it's a greenery area. And what the paw is, it means it's a wildlife area. Now this little bit here, that means it's a walkway. What you have to do is you have to make sure that the two pieces are connected for one solid piece there. Now let's grab our park sheet. As you can see, there are other features on the sheet. There's the red one, that means it's a pavilion. And lastly, there's a blue one. It just means it's a water feature. Let's go on to the phases. The first phase is roll a die. I'm gonna roll the die, and I have a two, two. This means that I make two separate two cuts. Other examples are a one, two, and three cut meaning I make those individual cuts. Lastly, this example is I make four one cuts onto my sheet of paper. But let's go back to what I had, a two, two cut. So I take my scissors and the next phase is cutting the sheet. You wanna make sure that you're cutting into the sheet, not just uh, poking a hole and cutting away. And I wanna look at my card. I wanna make sure that I have this yellow feature here. So I'm gonna start my cut here, outside in. One, two squares. And then I have another two cut, so I'm gonna go again. One, two squares. And that's it. That was the next one I built, and I can't build because there's no paper that kind of came off the sheet. I would check to see if I completed the part card and lastly, I would pass, taking the die and passing it to the player to my left. But since it's just me, I'll take the die and I'll roll for all of us. So I go again, I roll, one, two, and three. So again, I wanna make sure that I'm cutting outside in. I'm also looking to not make illegal cuts. An illegal cut would be, let's say I do this one cut here. I wouldn't be able to make a two cut following that because it would be a three cut total. That, that doesn't make sense, I'll, I'll demonstrate. So I already made a one cut, I used my one cut. Then if I make two more cuts, one, two, effectively I just made a three cut and that's an illegal cut. But <laughs> let's just use it for, what, for now. So I made my three cut and I could do it out of order. I'll make my one cut here. I have a piece. And then I'll make my two cut here. One, two. Now I can build, move on to the next phase. Let's see, how am I gonna place this? So I have my greenery here. All right, I'm gonna use this here. And oh no, even though I have my two things together, I needed a wildlife feature. So I'm not able to use this piece. So what you do is you crumple it up, set it off to the side. Now, according to the tiebreaker rules, these come into play. I, could, I didn't build it. All right, and that's the end of the round. If you filled out your park card before I do in this video, there's a card link at the top right hand corner of the video so that you can skip right to. We're gonna check the card, still not done. So we go again, a one, one, and two. 
Hmm, I can make my one cut because I could continue where I left off. That is a legal cut. So I have my one cut. Now I have to finish out my cuts before I can move on to the next phase. I'm gonna do a two cut here. And let's do another one cut. Right here. Whew, another piece didn't fall out. So I move on to the build phase. I take the piece that did fall off and place it, satisfying it. And that's it. And I've completed the part card. As you can see, all the pieces match. And I'd also get the bonus at the bottom. Sweet, that means I get to get an immediate one cut. This is gonna help me for the next part card. So I could already have an edge. If you did it before me, you'd flip the next card in the stack so you always have two cards in front of you and keep going. The first of five part cards complete wins. There are also tiebreaker rules, a Grand Parks expansion to make the game more challenging, as well as a solo mode for the game. You can learn about these by clicking the link below to download the rulebook. Well, looks like I have some cleaning up to do. Comment down below how you made your cuts and if there were any crumpled papers left over. You can get clip cut parks at your friendly local game store and learn about it on the Renegade Game Studios website. Also, for all things Renegade, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a thing. Once again, I'm Victor. And remember, play your game. Later, Renegades.